So hello and welcome back to the computer lab. So if you've got a video with any color on the background or a green screen like you can see on here, then I'm going to show you how to remove the green screen or any color uh, using Apple Motion. So you can get this nice transparent effect around your subject. And this can be done, like I say, with any color. It could be black, blue. Obviously, it's easier to show you with the green. So if that is something you are trying to do, then please do carry on watching this video. Okay, so obviously we're gonna to have to open Apple Motion up and I'm just gonna create a standard 1080p uh, video. So we're in our project browser, I'm gonna use a motion project. I'm just gonna leave it on the broadcast HD 1080 for this tutorial. So I'm gonna click on open. Then this is the standard user interface. Yours might look slightly different if you've been playing with the view and the different uh, menus, but you should have the same sort of look. So the first thing I like to do is obviously do a save as, so I know what that uh, is going on. So I'm just going to call this remove background using, if I spell using right, using Apple Motion, like so. So now I've got it saved and ready to go. I need to drag in some images that I want to work with. And like I say, this can be any color. It's just easier to show for this video um, using a green screen because it removes it really cleanly. Uh, but I have done ones with black and other colors. So it's all dependent on what else you've got going on with your video or image that you're trying to remove the color from. So I've got this sample one, which is done by this chap called Wolfgang Langer, and it came off Pexel. So I'm just going to use his video for this tutorial. So I'm just going to drag it into my layers menu. And you can see, obviously, I've got this um, lady here. And also what I need to do is let me just reduce the view size down and see where the image. So it's obviously bigger video footage than my 1080. So I just need to drag that and make sure that that's the same size as my uh, video. So I'm just going to do that and then just bring it back up and just make sure it snaps. I'm not too bored about uh, proportions because it's all about uh, just removing it. So it looks like it's lined up. Okay, so I've got the image dragged onto my layers menu. And then from here, we need to add our Kia. Now, now Apple Motion calls it a Kia, uh, and it's obviously keying from an alpha channel. So we need to go make sure we've got the uh, layer selected, and then go over to the library and inspector menu here. And we want the library, we want filters, and we want the one that says keying. We click that, and then the one that we need is the Kia, which is here. And then we just before I drag it across, it says it applies an alpha key to an object. So I'm going to left click, drag it across, and I'm just going to drop drop it onto the layer there, which is the video with the green screen. And you can see what it does. It straight away applies uh, an automatic key uh, alpha channel removal, which is what you can see here. Uh, now we can tweak that, which I'll go into now. Just before we do that, if you can't see the key applied in your actual layers menu here, you have got these quick view um, show hide filters here. So if I click that, it will disappear. Now I can switch it on and off by clicking this button here, but I tend to prefer it with the um, actual key showing there. It does show also in the timeline below here, but you can turn it on and off them by just hitting the tick buttons, which we're all used to. So the key has been applied. And if I push play on the uh, video now, you can see it's currently showing it with a black background, but the black is showing that it's been removed and how I can um, show that by my working file is going up to the channels menu here. Click on the channels menu, it's currently set on color. If I click on transparent, you'll see the gray checkers board that we're all used to seeing on PNGs and stuff um, show up like so. So now it's got trans uh, it's got transparency uh, applied to this video by using the green screen automatically selected by Apple Motion. And because this green screen has been done really well, it's uh, made a good job of the subject and it's quite well defined. So there's not really a lot of work to do. However, I will go into just showing you how you pick the colors up uh, and how you select if it's a different color. So for example, if this was black or something like that, or we wanted to maybe remove the red lipstick from the subject. So what I will do, let me just go back to the beginning of the timeline. Let's go across again to our library and inspector tab. We're going to hit the inspector tab, making sure that we've got the key selected here. And then we're going to look at this view menu here. So in this view menu, what we've got is composite. We've got matte and we've got original. So if I click on the, let me just put it back on color actually. So it goes black. Um, and I'm going to click on the original one then. It shows it without the actual key applied. Then we've got the matte. Now the matte here, anything that's white is visible. 
so obviously you're going to be able to see the full subject it's all white uh, anything that shows gray which i'll show in a minute will be transparent or slightly visible uh, anything black is totally invisible so we can hit the actual composite key and we can see there now that this subject will be totally visible so to remove the color manually we need to tell apple motion what that color is so what we need to do is obviously make sure they've got the key selected in the menu here head across to inspector make sure on the filters tab and then there's an option here called strength. Now what this does, it turns uh, the automatic filter that Apple Motion has already applied off. So as I slide it across to the left, you'll notice this goes green again. So I'll do that now. You see it now has gone green. So now we can tell Apple Motion uh, what color we want it to remove from this particular video. And we do that by hitting the sample color option here. And we're going to sample a color for Apple Motion to remove. So I'm gonna drag my bounding box around here and it'll automatically remove any green that it sees that I've got in this bounding box. So obviously you've got green in your subject or somewhere around here, it will remove that as well. So just be careful when you're using this, um, and especially if it's a different color. So let's say if it's a black, it would probably remove the straps here. If I did the black, well it would, it wouldn't, uh, and also some black in the eyes, it would make them transparent. It's just handy, we're working with a green screen, so um, it's just easier because there's no green on the subject. So we can pick this up here, and what we can also do in the view menu is we're currently on the composite uh, it tells me here we're on the composite menu if we pick up on the map menu it then shows us the what it's going to make transparent and what it's not so anything white is going to be trans uh, is going to show um, so i've got something showing on the left and the right and anything black is going to be transparent and that is because i'm in the map menu and i can adjust it now i can drag this bounding box around and as i drag further into the green you'll notice that I'm giving it uh, Apple Motion more of a color to remove. And if I leave it about there, it is now going to remove all the edges and everything in this image. And that's because the green screen has been well lit uh, and also there's no green on the subject. So now I can scrub through my uh, image here and make sure that it stays um, visible. So anything white. Incidentally, if it goes gray here, uh, the gray will be partially visible. So if you've got any gray in your image, you need again need to tweak that bounding box to uh, remove the color. What we can also do is refine the edges. So what I mean by that, we've got this edges tool here. So if I put my composite back on and you can see this lady in the middle, and I'm going to try and get to a bit where there's some hair showing so I can show you what I mean. It has done a quite a good job already, but you can see just on the edge here, there's some, it looks like there's possibly a bit of hair missing here because it's chopped it right off. So I can refine the edges. So I'm just gonna zoom in a bit because it'll be easier to show you. So in this edge here, I'm gonna try and get it to show a bit more of the hairline that's coming through. So we do that by hitting the edges tool, again in the inspector and filters, and we drag across what we want it to do. So you see, as soon as I do that, you can see the um, what it does it starts to fill and take off. So if you're trying to refine the edges to make them more defined or give the hair a bit more of a um, a bit more of a flow into your video, then you can adjust it. Now, the only thing you've got to be careful here is you don't apply any transparency to the rest of the image. So as you drag in um, to your image and adjust the actual edges, you, what you can end up doing is giving some transparency to your actual subject. Uh, and you can see there, if I do it too much, it then gives transparency and I might get to a point where I think, well, I'm happy with that, making sure that there's no transparency, but I've, I'm showing a bit of definition around the hairline and I can see this hairline picking up here. I might be happy with that, but that's how you refine the edges uh, and make them look clearer. Now you can see just in this corner here as well, incidentally, there's a slight bit of gray in still that I've not quite got. Now I can remove that with a Bezier mask at the end if I wanted to. Well, let's put transparency and see what it looks like. So now we've told Apple Motion we want to remove it a manual color. Uh, so if you've got a different color, you can select it by using the sample color in the uh, inspector filters and the key tool, and also how to tweak the edges so you can see more uh, of your subject's definition throughout the hairline. Um, so that's how to apply the green screen removal or the key tool in Apple Motion. So one last thing that I touched on earlier was this slight fuzziness that I have got just on the top right hand corner and the top left hand corner there. And if I scrub through a bit, you'll be able to just see it show up. So I want to try and remove that uh, using a Bezier mask. Um, so I just need to be careful around, especially around this subject because she's waving her arms around. Um, so just going to scrub along a bit just so I can get to a point where I think 
that her arms are in the most. So she's sort of moving from this position. So I want to draw my Bezier mask sort of around here. So we use this bottom menu here, which is just above the timeline. It's currently set on, uh, it's actually set on Bezier mask. Yours might be set on rectangle, so it might look like this. So pick up on the, um, click on there, click on Bezier mask. And then we can click and drag or we can put pointers in. So we click and drag, it gives us a rounder image or we can, uh, which looks like so. So it gives us this sort of bend shape or we can just click, left click each uh, point that we want it to snap to. Try and go off the subject a bit so we don't lose any of the bottom image. Uh, and then you can move these dots around afterwards uh, to, if you're wanting to tweak it. So, for example, if we want to play it now, so as we scroll the playhead, you can see I've got all the subject at the moment. But I think when she turns, goes a bit to the right, she might just go off. So I'm being careful. So I'm cutting the head off here. You can see the mask has cut the head off. So I need to just drag that up a bit and just keep going. In fact, I need to go up all the way, I'd say, because she's right on the edge of the actual... Uh, frame and then let's just make sure that we get it all right and there that's so she's fully isolated now and what this does it takes out these corners here and if I turn off the key you will see what I mean and it's showing her now isolated from the rest of the image so we just applied a mask to the actual footage as well as applying the key color removal as well so that is great let's put the key back on let's hit transparent and then we should see what we're going to get with our final product. So now we just need to export the file. Now, Apple Motion won't do uh, GIFs as standard. You need a compressor for that. And I will do another video on that um, to show you the compressor um, and how you export it as a GIF. But for this video, obviously, we're just using Apple Motion. It's standard sort of guise as it would be. So we've got to share, export movie. And you can see it's got this transparency already uh, in my preview window here. And I'm going to click Settings. I'm just going to leave everything standard. Uh, and you can change the video codec if you're working uh, working to a certain standard. I'm just going to leave it on Apple Res uh, ProRes 4444, Color and Alpha. I'm going to do the entire project. So if you want to do shorter than that, a 10 second clip, whatever you do, I'm just going to do the entire project. You can just do the video only if you want, if there's no audio on there. And then we just click Next. It says, what do you want to save this as? I've already saved one as a test one, so uh, I'm just going to call it Apple Motion and then put a two on the end. Click on Save. Apple Motion goes away and renders it, um, and then we can view the file like so. And then this image then can be used to be placed on top of another video or on top of a still image, depending on how you're using your production. So that's it. That's how to use the green screen removal tool or color removal tool using Apple Motion. Hope this video was helpful. If it was, please do subscribe to my channel and please do hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos I make. And thanks again for watching the Computer Lab on YouTube.